Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Power Slide podcast. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about our preview for a very muddy Rally Sardinia. Uh, I am Dimitris, and today I am joined by Matt. Hello. Silver. Hello. And Zanor. Hello. So, why do I say muddy? Well, that's because uh, the stages, or at least the mon- the Friday stages, are a complete mud fest, uh, judging from pictures from Reki, because it's been raining torrentially in the on the island uh, for the past week and a half, I believe. And the rain is forecasted to continue on the rally weekend. Yeah, so, I think it, it's on uh, Friday mm. stages, like SS4 to SS7, according to my meta. SS4 mm. to SS7? What happened to SS2 and to SS4? What do you mean, what Two. happened to SS4? It's like you're saying only the afternoon uh, loop will have rain. Yes. That's exactly what he's saying. That's ah. exactly what I'm saying. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if one no longer exists. Yes. Right. Uh, there's uh, also a video from Reki that li- literally, at first glance, I thought that was a video from Safari. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did think it was Safari as well. Yeah. With the uh, mountains in the background as well. Looked exactly like Kenya. Mm. Uh, also got uh, Monte Bruno on yes. day one, 50 yep. kilometer stage. Yep, 50 kilometer stage is the longest stage we've had in a while. Uh, don't quote me on this, but I think Mexico some year had a 40 plus kilometer stage. Uh, Friday is going to be the most interesting day of the rally, uh, from my, my prediction. Uh, uh, road position will play a, a key factor, whether it's dry, whether it's damp, whether it's wet, that's because whether it's dry, it will hamper the f- the front runners because they'll have to clean the road. And uh, if it's wet, then it will create ruts, which will make life really difficult for the later runners. My condolences to the JWRC drivers this rally. How many stages do you reckon we're going to see JWRC and WRC3 cars do? Uh, on day one, mm. out of the six, Two. three. Two. I'm gonna say four. Brave. Yeah, mm. um, I'll say they won't do the 50 kilometer stage in any pass. Mm. Fair shout. We have it twice. What? Sorry. It's interesting that we have it twice that stage. Yes, and it's really good. It's really good. Mm. I mean, considering how rallies are built up nowadays, it's rare to have a stage run only once that isn't an SSS. Uh, Acropolis would have would like to have a word with you. Yeah, I said rare. Fair yeah, enough. An odd one out. Yeah, yes. Also, we should mention mentioning the itinerary. Uh, I, I, Sardinia has done has 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 get gotten rid of the stupid um, two stages then back to the same stages uh, and they've adopted the normal three stages service three stages in the afternoon uh, which yeah, given that format to estonia <laughs> yes uh, so they've managed to give the worst format to the closest bad rally they had <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> still or let's not comment no further comments <laughs> will be made on this subject yeah Anyway, there's let me explain. No argument, so of course there's no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will explain why it's a bad uh, format, in my opinion. The pros- the positive for it is that it gives fans the opportunity to see more stages with a closer time gap. But the problem is, if there's an accident, it's likely to cancel the stage. Like it's really easier to cancel the stage, and it also gives a a gap in between the loop for no reason, like one, uh, one, one or two hours. So instead of having like stages, we're going to watch stages for three hours and then two hour break, do the dishes, eat some food. And then back in the afternoon, you have two hours 
wait two hours, watch, then begin two hours, then again break for two hours, and then the same, the same, the same. It it doesn't give you the continuous rally that we all love. Sorry for waffling. This was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually agree because like if you have to wait quite a bit after every stage, it kind of breaks up your day in terms of schedule as well. Yep. Otherwise, if you mm. just have a service break in the middle, you can go do something else and then come back to the rally in the afternoon. Yep, exactly. Mm. So it's good from a spectator mm. perspective as well. Uh, 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 maybe. I don't know. I've not been to a proper stage. Yeah, I mean, I mean say. like TV. <laughs> ah, TV, yeah. Yes. Um, um, anything you want to talk about from day two and day three? Uh, I am going to be honest. I have not done my own own research for the itinerary sake. Uh, only thing I've watched for the itinerary is I've watched the auntie's video on the itinerary and I've read his blog. From what I can remember, so this is all from auntie. I've not done anything myself. I'll say it again. I know the shakedown is, has a lot of tarmac for some reason. I know day one is extremely tricky with a lot of safari-esque sections. And I know that the power stage is the one, I think, remember when where Ospec had his ramp rant in um, Sardinia 2021 with Pirelli? Yes. Mm-hmm. I think that's the power yes. stage. Oh, okay. uh, the, the stage, uh, the stage, stage where... Every, yeah. No, no, it's different. It's not the one... Mm-hmm. Uh, the... Usually it's the one that ends by the sea. Yes, where we had Julian Bodo saying, "Oh, we're off!" When he went, when Tanak went one centimeter into the grass. Yes, it's different this year. It's the one stage where um, mm-hmm. Evans in twenty twenty one went into the um, the the water splash and his engine stalled. Oh yeah, yep. Nice. Fun fact: uh, a member of the podcast, which isn't here, uh, actually was in the place where that happened, but he's, he's not here. You can guess who it is in the comments. And uh, also, coincidentally, he about is... Enough the um, itinerary, or not uh, enough about the itinerary. I'd like yeah. to mention yes. the very creatively named SS17 and SS19, which are named Sardinia 1 and Sardinia 2. Ah, yes. Clean. Are they not in Sardinia? Hmm. They are. If someone names uh, a stage... If someone names a stage Sardinia 1 or Sardinia 2, I will assume a full lap of the island. Yes. <laughs> Tour de course. Now you know Tour de Sardinia. Tour de Sardinia, yes. Um, can't, can't wait for Estonia 1. <laughs> will it include Sara okay. and Hiuma? Yes. Ah. Okay, enough Ekre talk. Uh, enough about uh, the itinerary. Well, not enough, but yeah, sorry. Uh, about the weather. So, do you have the weather like on standby so that you can tell us uh, the weather for Saturday and, fr- and Sunday? Obviously not. Uh, <laughs> We're well prepared here at the podcast. Yes, well, very well. Uh, tell me a city in Sardinia on Friday. Olbia, where the rally s- uh, base is. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, well, while so silver is searching it, I should I would like to say that uh, where the power stage usually is that ends in the sea is one of my favorite stages from Sardinia, yeah, and I don't thing. like Sardinia at all. Uh, but I think so it's so you don't like it. No, I like it. It's the only thing I like about Sardinia. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not on the itinerary this year. So oh, whatever. Cold on the stage does look good though. Uh, yeah, but I promise you, I will only remember Mickey's jump because it's fifty kilometers, and my brain will go too long. Don't remember anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wonderful. That seems exactly what's going to happen to me. Uh, um, I am actually be a big thing. What? This road cleaning will be a big thing this this month. Uh, depends. If it's dry, then road cleaning. If it's, oh fuck, if it's, uh, if it's wet, it's going to be a mud fest and the guys that are on the back are going to lose massive amounts of time. From what I, from mm. what we've seen on the Reiki pictures, it's a complete mud fest. It looks like, uh, remember Sleeping Warrior in 2021 where it rained for a bit and everyone went mm. off? Yes. It, it looks mm. like that kind of mud. Yeah. 
That's going to be fun. So it's either very good for Ogier or very good for Bok and Para. Yes. The problem with Ogier no. is that I think he's... The problem with Ogier, I think he's third on the road, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he is. He is. So whatever happens, he's going to win. Mm. <laughs> it's going to annoy me. Spoiling the predictions. Yeah. All anyway. right. Is, uh, do, do you have the weather? Yes, ready? I have found some weather. Interestingly, <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't be mad at me if it's the wrong weather. Um, so, as I already said, Friday afternoon can be some rain. Saturday uh, afternoon can be some showers. And Ooh. Sunday, okay. uh, showers or light rain for the entire day. Mm. Well, that makes it interesting. Mm. This is. This is one of the rare occasions where we do the rally, the podcast actually close to the rally so that we can get an actually good weather prediction. But uh, currently, as we speak, uh, there's like thunderstorms uh, today and tomorrow. So yeah. it's going to be muddy as hell by the time we actually get to the rally. Fun. Yes. Uh, my, like my, yes. There's going to be cancelled stages, I think. There's definitely going to be cancelled stages. Obviously. Yeah. If, because, because from the pictures, the rain is worse than what we saw in Fafa in ERC, mm. and we had two cancelled stages. Mm. So if they dare to cancel the 50 kilometer stage, which is literally the only reason why I am excited for this mm. rally, I am going to be so disappointed. <laughs> You will make a public protest at Rally Acropolis. I will make I will make a Rally San Remo itinerary. <laughs> oh wait, I have. Please check it out on the power slide blog. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, okay, geez. should we get should to we the move on? Yeah, to the entrance. Yeah, move on to the entrance. Yes. Uh, Toyota first. Opening the road obviously is Calais Robin Yeah, if if it it looks. It looks like it's going to be muddy, so I think he's the favorite to win. <laughs> mm. And we saw Kale mm. last year had a fond relationship with himself and uh, Rain Clouds. So, yeah, he's going to enjoy these conditions. Mm. Uh, behind him, we have Oitanak in his uh, temperamental Ford Puma. <laughs> C- could even say temporary Ford Puma. <laughs> well, no, he always has it, but it just doesn't work all the time. Yeah, yeah. But yet still, he is second on some way. No, you let let the Estonians say what they want about Tanak. It's it's their driver after all. Come on, do a preview, lad. No, we're um, not talking about Tanak. We're talking about the Puma and its um amazing re- reliability. Somehow, yes, ev- I- every car Tanak touches has amazing reliability. Wonder why. <laughs> anyway, uh, Sebastian Oje, um, we don't like him there. Still gonna win. <laughs> this is a joke, by the way. Our, pres- our personal preferences do not uh, make us less or more biased. <laughs> uh, we're not going to put down Oje to DNF. The opinions said on Power Slide Podcast do not reflect the opinions of Power Slide Podcast. Yes. <laughs> yes. Interesting. Right. Um, um, Oji going to be competitive as he always will. Yeah. Oji is going, going to end up winning the championship somehow. <laughs> and, it, and it's going to send me in a, in a depressive outburst at the end of the season. And then it's going to come back full time next year. Yes. This year's uh, last episode of Power Slide Podcast will just be Dimi's rant, which is five oh, hours long. So, yeah. <laughs> when have I ever ranted in the Power Slide Podcast? Mm. You will. Mm. When, when Never before. Ever... Never before. Tell me when. Today. I haven't Today. ranted. I am calm. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway. Uh, Elfin Evans. Yes, Gorg isn't here, but we should still talk about him. Um, um, he crashed in Portugal. Spectacularly. Uh, and no one saw it. He did. 
Elfin Evans is the type of person to take one step forward and then immediately take two steps backwards. Not even two, but five. Five, yeah. <laughs> yes. Five steps backwards. Glad we agree. Uh, I think that's the story of the Elfin Evans mm, in, uh, in Rally 1 Machinery. Machinery. Uh, <laughs> but yes, I think he's um, in a slump, which I'm uh, afraid to say. Uh, it looks like he's not really recovering from after being in contention for the title against Sebastian Ogier for two years in a row at the end of the uh, WRC era. It's uh, well, it's sad to see him like this, but also how long does the empathy last? Well, how long until they find a good driver? Mm. Because in WRC 2. <laughs> In WRC2, there's no one you're going to find that's going to perform at Evans' level, Andreas even within Mikkelsen. two years. If you no. want to finish, no. you will say Sunanen. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to get to Sunanen later. Yeah, we're going to get. A, we're going to talk about Temu Sunanen later on in the podcast. Get one of those guys from the Toyota development program. In no. The no. Get Hiroki Arai. No. Yes. <laughs> right. They're anyway, just going to uh, put Takamoto Katsuta. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's talk about Hyundai. <laughs> we have a uh, Newville, Lappi, and Sodo back to back on the entry list. Uh, Newville's going, it's not going to win because it's, it's rainy and. It's new position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. He's afraid of water like the Dutch And shark. winning. <laughs> Who remember Monza 2020 when Drown ends in? Yes. Uh, I'm glad yeah, you I, brought it, that up of all people. If it was if it was dry, I think Newville would have been in a good shot, in a good uh, position to win, but now it's a mud fest and yeah, n- no chance. <laughs> I, mm. Same goes with Lapi and Sodo. Sodo, Sordo will I cook. don't think he's ever... How? Sordo will cook, mark mm. my words. In the wet. I think Sordo yeah, will because be everyone else will, will, will retire. In the wet. Mm-hmm. In the wet, in a late road position. Yes, everyone else will retire. <clears throat> you have severe... Mm. A lapse of judgment. No, you remember what I said last time about Sordo. No one believed me. Yes, you also said something about Martin Brogo back in 2021. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Let it go. I was no. right last time. A broken <laughs> clock can tell the time correctly twice a day. Okay. Yes, can. <laughs> if you say yes, so. Can. Anyway. Uh, yeah, but let's talk a bit more about Hyundai. Yeah. Uh, what do you think it's the maximum they can achieve from this rally? Podium? Mm, I'd say maybe mm, podium would be probably what they're aiming for. And who's the favorite to get a podium? Danny I say Sordo. Newville. Danny Sordo. Probably Sordo. Yes, so. Matt. Yes. Believe. Zeno. Uh, new Lord Sarda. What a diplomat. And we and we reach WRC 1.5 territory uh, with yes. Takamoto Katsuta <laughs> and Pierre Louis Lube. Uh yeah, whatever. Lube said he had pace to win in Sardinia. He's not he doesn't have pace to win in Sardinia mm-hmm. now that it's wet. And Katsuta metric stage, make it to the end, get top five. Retire. Yeah. <laughs> No. Speaking of tire, now that it's really wet and rats are forming, how many punctures do you think we will get on the second pass of day one? Yes. I yes. say a lot. Many. How many punctures I... do you think will be the maximum for one person on the 50 kilometer stage? One. One. Two. I think two. <laughs> I say one. Someone will get two. I say one. Okay. You may Before believe zero. in the rally. Yes, no. I say one because I believe there's only going to be one pass. And it's going ah. to be the first one. No, I mean in one pass. <laughs> uh, yeah, in one pass, one. The second pass is more likely to get punctures. Ah, fair enough. Um, would you like to say anything about Katsuda or Lubei? Uh, mm. 
Lupe needs to start finishing cleanly. Yeah. He's, he's because he, he did finish, show he? he did show a bit of pace in Portugal, I'll give him that. But he won a stage, he led the rally. Yeah. Yes. But he, he binned it. He gave me hope and then he binned it. Again. Yes. Uh, the history of the Lube. Mm -hmm. He give hope and then take away. Yes. But he, he need to start the finish. No. I don't No, because then mm. he will crash in SS1. No, he need no he needs to start finishing. <laughs> so ah, okay. He, he, he needs to be more like Roman, but I'm not Sunni in any way. That was, that was unprecedented Sunni and then slander. <laughs> I'm sorry to anyway, any fans watching. Speaking of them, on to the rally two cars. Yes, yeah, speaking of them, Musunin, and he's in a Hyundai i20 and Rally two, along with Fabrizio Zaldivar for the <laughs> Hyundai Motorsport and team. Uh, it's a cracking lineup, man. Yeah, it's it's like having uh, Peter Solberg and Miko Hirvonen in Subaru 2004. <laughs> Uh, only I understood that reference. Um, okay, back to the headlines. Talksport have a bad, bad shit ton of cars. They have three teams entered. We have Talksport WRT, WRT2, and WRT3. Greensmith, Solberg, Mickelson, Gryzen, and Lindholm, Lindholm, and Payari. Payari. Oh, no. Lindholm is only ended for WRC, so we won't talk about him. He could win our, the Rally 2 class. He's, he's good, but yeah, not ended for WRC 2. Um, Greensmith won in Portugal, albeit after his main competitor, Oliver Solberg, decided he was fond of pastry of the round kind. Greensmith um, is also I mean, not entered in WRC 2. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ignore <laughs> everything I said. Green, Greensmith could also win RC2, etc, etc. He's fast. He won Portugal. Um, who, do you think is, who do you think is going to win uh, WRC2 in uh, Sardinia and why? Johan Rossell. Uh, he will be the only one to be smart enough to make it through cleanly. Mm -hmm. Is Mikkelsen doing in... WRC two, yes, yes, she is. Yeah, yes. yes. I think you'll also be a competitive one to watch, as he always is. Not is when not? he crashes in the in the uh, Greece for arena stage. Yes. You mean you mean the Echo uh, Athens Olympic Stadium Super Special? Yes, I w I'm more I familiar with the five G Athens Cosmota whatever stage. <laughs> I was there for yes, both. I know. <laughs> it's my only personality. Many times. <laughs> it's my only personality trait. Um, Anyways, um, I think Solberg will win. Okay, yeah. so we have three different winners. I have went with uh, for more. That is mm. very brave. That is, that is a bold choice. He was the fastest of anyone in Portugal, so... Yeah, but do you trust the Fiesta? No. <laughs> exactly. Conditions. You know what I also don't trust? Pirelli. Um, exactly. For more? For more as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, um, he's been rapid in Mexico and Portugal now. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think we should also mention some headline uh, entries. We mentioned uh, uh, Soninen, uh, who is also probably... He has a good chance to win. He had pace in Portugal and... What? What else? Oh, he hasn't done any other gravel rally. Mm. He has pace on gravel. Um, Gryzen, I don't think he can win. He did win last year, but there was chaos last yeah. year. Yeah. Um, yeah. Si Siamin is doing it after doing really well in Croatia, but binning it. Uh, I don't know what he can do, really. On gravel, he, I have no idea. He won, I think he won Portugal one year. Did he? But don't quote me on that. I, I may be confusing him with Rossell. Yeah, yes, uh, you are definitely confusing mm -hmm. him with Rossell. Okay, Rossell I apologize. Rossell won Portugal. 
we have um, Kajetan Kajetanovic back uh, in the Rally 2, um, RS Rally 2 Fabia. Yes. I think it's it's the debut for the Fabia, isn't it? He's Fabia, I mean. Mm. Yeah. Because he did it's Mexico in the too. R5. He it's also did, uh, he did the ERC Poland, Poland. As, uh, course oh, car. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> you don't really? Yes. Wow, so that was very competitive. Some. All right. We've and also got our foremost teammate. He's there. Yep, Gregor yep, Munster. Gregor Munster. Yeah. That's so all, all yeah, you can say about him, really. He's there. Yeah, My he's going it. to. Yep. Uh. Yeah, Georg Linama as well, Bruno Bulasia, uh, Robert Virves in the third Fiesta Rally 2, Josh Gregor Mar- Yes, Gregor Yetz, whatever. Uh, Josh Makelin, who also did really well in Poland last year, last uh, last time out, mm. and in uh, Portugal. Uh, Eric, Sa- your favorite German? Eric, Sa- wait, hold on. I'm talking about my favorite Czech, which isn't my favorite Czech because my favorite Czech is um, Jan Kopecki. Uh, mm. Eric Sais, who has been really disappointing this year, he's doing it. Armin Kramer is back after Yay. retiring in Portugal Yay. with a broken wheel. Uh, let's see if he can win. Martin Prokop is doing his first rally in a non Ford car since he drove a C2, I believe. Hold on. So that's. Something that is a long time ago, yes. Oh, he might have dri- driven an Evo. Uh, no, actually, no, yes. a Yugo. What, <laughs> yes, 2011 Rally Idria. No, so. you've gone yeah, too far. No, you've gone, you've, gone, you've gone too far. He, he drove uh, right. C2 S1600 in 2017 in Rally Legend. Oh, come on, you. I meant in WRC. <laughs> I don't I'm... care about, about Rally Juvenilia. <laughs> He drove Yugoslavia car. Do you not? Yes. Do you really not care about mythical cars, really? No, I don't care about mythic. I- I'll give you. I will actually do my first ever rant on this podcast about the <laughs> mythical cars, really. While it is a great concept, obviously, and it was well organized, it's still a knockoff of Rally Legend. And everyone was praising. Wow, we've never seen something like this. My brother in Christ, you see it every year with Rally Legend, with better cars and more drivers doing it. Because from the famous driver standpoint, we only saw Gronholm and Mickelson. In Rally Legend, you see Mickey Biazion did it in a I twenty WRC for Christ's sakes. You see Nicky Grist, you saw Leb or all blah blah blah. It's a knockoff Rally. I Deadfish promoted the shit out of it. Okay, Adamo, we like Adamo, but come on. Do you, uh, do you remember five minutes ago when Dimmy said he hasn't ranted on Yes, the I said, I'm <laughs> going to do my first. I, 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 you had the chance to tell me, no, Dimmy, don't do it. <laughs> no, Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong, I, I will give you that, but... Yeah. But what? Um, we like uh, anyway. Adamo. Anyway, yes, uh, I said we like I, Adamo. I have found out. The shit out of it, I have found out. It was annoying. I have found it. out about Prokop in the meantime. Uh, last time he drove a non Ford in the WRC was Rally GB 2009 when he drove a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 9 and came 10th ten, right. overall good. and won the PWRC class. Very good. Yes. I don't think I don't uh, think we have anyone else in the R fives to talk about. So should uh, we talk no, about? To be fair, time? Miko Marcik has done pretty well in the recent times. Number um, fifty-five. Number no, 55. it's it's his cousin. Oh, no, it's okay. not Alatia proper. It's his cousin. I confused uh, that earlier as well. The JWRC it's going to be Creighton versus Pelier because the other and Dominguez actually because the others are pretty worthless. Sorry to say. It's a matter of making it to the end with this category anyway. You never know what's going to happen, if the tar is going to go, if the car is going to die, like it happened in Croatia. Fun fact, actually, this is the first rally we're going to see in JWRC with the updated Fiesta Rally 3. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. No Clio, I believe. Uh, no. no Clio and it, and it would, wouldn't be in JWRC anyway. Yeah, I know, but if it's in the RC3 class or the WRC3 class, we could have a little bit 
head to head, you yes, know? But it's not there. Uh, what I is know. there is a Peugeot 208 R5. Mm. Yeah. Timmy, the silence is deafening. Timmy, uh, I'd like. To... I noted it, yes, but okay. We're not it's very this, important. He's going to DNF in I SS1 don't care. It fails to scrutineering probably. It's almost more important than a DS3 taking part. Do you want to talk about the Rally 4208 as well? No, Can we go that's back not to a special. JWRC now? No. no. There's nothing there's else nothing to say. There <laughs> the, um, in the EWRC Pickham's uh, most common tips, there is a new guy, Ali Turkan from Turkey. He's not even in JWRC. He's in, he WRC uh, He's in the uh, WRC 3 class. Uh, guy. Right. It's also uh, a popular choice. Uh, uh, after uh, Zen or fake news, oi, uh, we continue to talk about what we hinted before, the Suninen rumor. Yes. Our sources, which we're not going to uh, name because Feel it doesn't happen. <laughs> I don't know what that we have a source. No. Uh, the creator of UNVA has said that Temu Suninen is going to be doing uh, uh, Rally Estonia, Rally Finland, and uh, Rally Chile in uh, an I-20 Rally 1. We're not reporting it. We're just saying that's the rumor. Seems plausible to me. Whether... Seems the most possible because Sordo doesn't want to do full it's... time, and if someone has to do mm. it, then yep, who else would you really get? Because yeah. yeah. let's face it, they're not getting Zaldivar <laughs> or Lina, no? anyways, or yet, <laughs> not or even driving a Hyundai, yeah, yes, yeah, he's driving a Hyundai, yeah. is he? Yeah. Well, there's I also a second up. Oh, he, is. he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, also, right. a, there's also a second Zaldivar. Of yeah, course. his dad, come yeah, on. Yes. <laughs> also driving a Hyundai. Okay, yeah. whatever, whatever. Uh, before we go, uh, today, the, not today, yesterday, the, the Safari entry list it was out. Uh, Oji is doing that. As well, uh, we have our favorite uh, pay driver of all time, Jordan Serderidis, yes. returning. He can get some points. Again. <laughs> and we also have, yeah. because because the rest are very Estonian patriotic, I can also be Greek patriotic. We have an actual Greek doing the rally in the AM Sport uh, Rally 2 uh, squad, which I have no idea why it's happening. I'm guessing Serderidis probably had something to do with it. Uh, cool. Uh, also mention Oliver, uh, Oliver Solberg not entered in WRC2 for it. Yeah, because he never backs out of a challenge and he likes to live to the extreme, bro. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't speak. Shut up and get three points. <laughs> yeah, go a banger, dude. <laughs> no, no. Okay, but let's, let's get you home, Grandpa. It's pant. <laughs> okay. uh, Do we have I something don't... productive to say? Uh, yes, actually. Predictions. Do we? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Okay. I am going to do the unthinkable, and I will actually start with my predictions. <gasps> oh. What nonsense! No ways. Yeah, I always go. Okay, one. Kale. Yeah. You think okay. Kale will win? Two, Ogier. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Three, Tanak. Brave. Mm -hmm. Four, Newell. Yeah. Brave. Mm -hmm. Here, Cutbag. <laughs> Five, Evans. Brave. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a bad shit one and you're gonna get zero points, I just know it. <laughs> WRC2. Remind um, me who is leading the Pickhams. A broken clock. Can tell <laughs> the I've been telling the time correctly five times now. No, you've been telling the time correctly every time we check it. Uh, for more, 
Uh, number one, number two, Mickelson. And number three, um, Solberg. No, not Solberg. Solberg's gonna bin it eventually. Uh, Rossell is shit from, from Portugal. Sorry, Rossell. Uh, yeah, fuck it, Solberg, why not? Uh, Matt. Mm -hmm. Fifth, I've got Danny Sordo. Fourth, Lappy. Third, Tannock. Second, Robin Perra. And first, Ogier. Right. WC2. Mm. Hold on, um, I'm writing you. Ah! <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, oh, of course. Um, WRC2, Mickelson first. Thorberg second and third. Oh, I don't know. Um, uh, Suninen. Oh. oh, yeah, I sub Solberg for Suninen. Oh. It is allowed. The rally has not started yet. Do you think he won't crash in SS1? Yes, yes it is super special. He, he's, he's he can crash. Rally, stage. Silver. In the rally yes. one car, so it's Silver. Fine. Silver. Yes. Um, how are you? <laughs> I want my predict on, yes. Uh, fifth, Lappi. Uh, fourth, Tarak. Third, Lovan Pera. Second. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's going to be Ojin Soto's going to be first. Second, Danny Soto. Oh, fuck off. First, Sebastian Ojin. You changed it at the last No, moment. that's my pickums. I can send you a, a screenshot if you want. No, it's illegal. Uh, I've got Roman, but I'm not low. Third, yes. Yeah. Three. Why? Three. Because uh, like rod cleaning and uh, yes. We said it's not going to have rod <laughs> cleaning. It's going it to be will in the morning hard. loop. It's still fucking wet. Did you not see the mud fest? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up and believe in the, in the big time leader. Um... No. If, if there's a god up there, he's going to get zero points. <laughs> <laughs> no. Minus points. <laughs> I've almost gotten that last year. Hold okay, on. okay, um, okay. Whatever. Third, third in WRC2. Nikolai yeah. Grazin. Ah, oh, thought first. No. Second. Yeah. Oliver Solberg. <laughs> first, Johan Rossell. Oh my god, you're a dumbass. No. <laughs> Zenor Europe. Uh, I've gone fifth, Danny Sorda. Fourth, uh, Oitanak, Puma. Uh, third, Thierry Neuville. Oh. Second, Doji, <laughs> and then first, Rowan Because, uh, yeah. That tends to happen. Aha, funny. Uh -huh, yes. uh -huh, uh -huh. Something, something, I clouds. Yeah, uh, WC2, third, Grazen, uh, second, Mikkelsen, and uh, Dimi's gonna hate me for this, uh, first, Solberg. Oh god. Why am I gonna hate you for that? That is controversial yet brave. Yeah. So you're saying it's gonna be a Fabio 1, 2, 3? I guess I am. You're not guessing, choice. you've said it. To be fair, the Fabia is a bit OP, isn't it? No. It is. It not is. as OP as you think. It's still good. Yes. Yes. It's better than a C3. <laughs> yeah, and yet you've put one to win. <laughs> yes. Because Rossell is, uh, is a smart man, you know. Right. Yeah, he's very smart. He can go to the stewards and complain so that he can win the rally. <laughs> yes. As we saw in Monty. Yes. By the way, not defending that. <laughs> <laughs> that was shambolic. That's not, that's not how you win a rally. And on that bombshell, <laughs> it's, it's time to, to end. end. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for listening to the podcast or watching the podcast. Uh, remember to 
uh, like uh, the video or give us a fair rating on uh, Spotify. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and we will see you for the Rally Sardinia review. Till then, take care. Bye. Back to the studio. Bye. Mm-hmm.